Hello there and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm glad you can join us. I'm Mrs. O, here to support my parents, students, and teachers with everything math related, ed tech tips, and educational resources. Today's video is all about Wakelet. Are you riding the Wakelet wave? If not, come discover why you may want to jump on board and why so many teachers just love Wakelet. So let's get into it. One reason why teachers just love Wakelet is because you can use it to organize all of your digital resources. Especially now, more than ever, teachers are bombarded with so many digital resources. And sometimes it's a challenge keeping up with it all. But Wakelet is where you can house all of your favorite digital resources. Let's see how. You can start a new collection by selecting Create New Collection here from the home screen. Here you have the option to customize your collection by adding an image. And notice you can upload your own or choose from their library. Down below you can enter a title and include a short description about your collection's content. Clicking the plus sign, this is where all the magic happens. As you can see here, there are several ways to add digital resources, such as your favorite websites. And if you're anything like me, I'm sure you have plenty of those. You can add text, YouTube videos, images, PDFs, record videos, and more. And the best part of it is that it can all be housed in one collection. Wakelet is pretty intuitive. So for the sake of time, I'm not gonna fill in all of the categories, but let's take a peek at one completed collection. Here are a few collections that I've put together, some for personal use and some related to work. So let's take a look at this one, entitled Instructional Apps and Digital Resources. Notice how the image that I've selected, I've uploaded there. Here's my title, and just below it, I have a description detailing the contents of this particular collection. And as you scroll down, you notice that I have subtitles. Here, I use the subtitles to separate the categories. The first category was presentation tools. And so here I've embedded different links to websites that I use for instructional purposes. And further down, here's another subcategory that I've created, virtual math resources. And as you scroll down, there are different, again, links and websites that I've included there. And I've specified math websites and links in this next category. I've even included some videos. Now, when you're ready to share your collection, you simply come here at the top, click the arrow, and you have multiple options of sharing the collection. You can share it via QR code. And while you're at it, go ahead and scan that QR code and feel free to follow me on Wakelet. And if you like what I've shared with you so far, make sure to hit that like button down below. You can also just simply copy the link and insert it into your chat box. Or you can also directly link it to your Microsoft Teams or Google Classroom as well. Just remember that before sharing, in the editing phase, you're going to come up here and you have three options for posting either public, unlisted, or private. Anything that you're willing to share, you select public for everyone to see or select unlisted so that only people with the link can have access to it. Wakelet can also be used for housing a collection of tutorials as well. Here, for example, is a Wakelet that I've created for parents. Inside is a list of math resources and instructional videos that parents can refer to to help their child from home. If parents are struggling with the Common Core math standards, the videos that are embedded within can be used by parent and students as a quick review. By uploading a few anchor charts as well as step-by-step -step directions, you can feel free to release students to work independently. Another creative way to use Wakelet is to create choice boards. When setting up the choice board, just simply include a brief description. Add text listing the activities and related work that will need to be turned in and include a due date. Then add links to websites or videos that students can choose from. And that's it. Possibilities are endless. So I hope you consider giving Wakelet a try. Well, that's a wrap. And thanks for watching. To continue to support my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the description box for other videos that you might find useful. Until next time, take care.